Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGC SE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we started a new topic name is coordinate geometry of the circle we did question number one in which the requirement was the equation of the circle question number two in which the requirement was center and radius with the help of the given equation of the circle so first I would suggest all those students which who are new in this channel kindly go to my playlist watch previous lecture of this topic after watching previous lectures you will have good command on this topic let's start question number three the line 2x plus y minus 5 equals to 0 is a tangent to the circle with center 0 0 find the length of the radius of the circle write down the equation of the circle very easy question students the line which have equation 2x plus y minus 5 is equals to 0 and the center is given 0 0 and we have to find the length of radius what is radius the distance from the center to the circumference of the circle now we have a point and a line and the distance between this point and this line is radius so what is the formula the formula of distance between a point and a line is D equals to AX1 plus BY1 plus C upon A square plus B square square root with modulus sign. Why we are using modulus sign? Because the distance is always positive. Now, what is X1, Y1? x1 y1 is the point the point is 0 0 what is a a is the coefficient of x in the equation of line in this case 2 b is the coefficient of y in the given equation in this case 1 and c is the constant term is in the line which is minus 5 so put these values in the formula D equals to here D represent radius A is 2 X1 is 0 B is 1 Y1 is 0 and C is minus 5 upon A square 2 square plus B square 1 square square root with modulus sign 2 0 0 1 0 0 minus 5 upon 2 square 4 1 square 1 4 plus 1 is 5 root modulus sign 0 plus 0 minus 5 is minus 5 upon root 5 modulus sign negative 5 upon root 5 is negative root 5 modulus sign and the radius is a positive quantity so answer should be root 5 so this is the length of radius the requirement what is 
the second requirement write down the equation of the circle very easy if we have a center which is given 0 0 then the equation of the circle should be x square plus y square is equals to r square so x square plus y square is equals to r is root 5 square x square plus y square is equals to square and root cancel 5 answer so x square plus y square is equals to 5 this is our final answer of question number 3 now I have to check the answer checking the answer is very very important question number 3 you can see the length of radius is root 5 and the equation of circle is x square plus y square is equals to 5 move to next question this is the end of exercise 1 now we are moving towards exercise 2 the topic is point points and a circle very easy very very easy exercise question number one show that the point 5 minus 5 is on the circle x square plus y square minus 4x plus 2y minus 20 is equals to 0 in order to show that the given point is on the circle or outside the circle or inside the circle we must find the radius this is the equation of circle which is called a general equation form x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 the coefficient of x is 2g and the coefficient of x is given minus 4 minus 2 the coefficient of y is 2f and the coefficient of y is given 2 f is equals to 1 the formula of the radius is r is equals to g square plus f square minus c square root what is g minus 2 square what is f 1 square minus c c is the constant term in this case c is minus 20 so minus minus plus 20 2 square 4 plus 1 plus 20 so r is equals to twenty five root and root twenty five is five so this is the radius now if we draw a rough circle we have center what is the formula of center minus g minus f so two comma minus one two comma minus one and the point 5 minus 5 which is given in the question now we have to find the distance between the center and this point which should be the radius if the answer if the answer of the radius is 5 then obviously the point is on the circle if the answer of the radius is greater than 5 the point should be outside the circle and if the radius is less than 5 the point should be inside now find the distance how to find the distance is very easy by using distance formula 
फाइव माइनस टू स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस फाइव प्लस वन स्क्वायर रूट फाइव माइनस टू थ्री स्क्वायर नाइन माइनस फाइव प्लस वन माइनस फाइव माइनस फोर माइनस फोर स्क्वायर इज सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस नाइन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड रूट ट्वेंटी फाइव इज फाइव सी दिस अवर रेडियस इज फाइव एंड द डिस्टेंस इज ऑल्सो फाइव हैंस इट इज शोन दैट द पॉइंट इज एट द सर्कल और यू कैन से एट द सर्कम पेरेंस ऑफ द सर्कल मूव टू नेक्स्ट पार्ट so that the point is outside the circle x square plus y square plus 2x this is second part Again, we have the equation of the circle given in question number two: x square plus y square plus two x minus four y minus twenty is equals to zero. Find the value of g and f. So two g equals to two, and two f equals to minus four, and c is equals to minus twenty. From here, g is one. From here, f is minus two, and c is minus twenty. The center is minus g minus f. So plus minus minus one minus minus plus two. And the value of the radius is r is equals to g square plus f square minus c. Here g is one square plus f is minus two square plus c minus minus plus twenty. One square one four plus twenty. It is twenty five root and it is five. So the radius is five. Now we have to draw a rough circle. Sorry, I'm not good in drawing. The center is minus one comma two. The center is C minus one comma two. And the given point is three comma six. Given point is three comma six. The distance is R. If the value of r is five, then this point is on the circle, and if the value of r is greater than five, obviously the point is outside the circle. Now check the distance. R is equals to three minus minus plus one square, and six minus two square root three plus one four sixteen six minus two four sixteen. Sixteen plus sixteen is thirty-two, and if you find the square root of thirty-two, this should be greater than five. So you have to write as thirty-two root is greater than five. So the point three comma six is outside the circle. okay so very easy this is your answer move to last part of the question what is last part the last part is is the point 1 1 is inside on on side or outside the circle x square Plus y square minus six x plus four y plus four is equals to zero. Very easy. Again, find g. 
find F and C. G is minus 3, F is 2 and C is 4. Center point is minus G minus F minus minus plus 3 minus plus minus 2 C is 4. Now find the radius. The formula of the radius you must memorize R is equals to G square plus F square minus C root minus 3 square plus 2 square minus C. C is 4 so plus minus minus 4. 3 square 9 2 square 4 minus 4 4 minus 4 cancel 9 root is 3 so the radius is 3 now we have to draw a rough circle show the center what was the center 3 comma minus 2 3 comma minus 2 and the given point is 1 1 1 comma 1 again find the distance if the distance is greater than 3 it is outside 3 it is on the circle and less than 3 it is inside so radius 3 minus 1 square plus minus 2 minus 1 square 3 minus 1 2 4 minus 2 minus 1 3 square 9 9 plus 4 13 root so root 13 obviously greater than our radius which is 3 so it is shows that point 1 comma 1 is outside obviously the value of the radius is greater than 3 so student this is our today's class where we did question number 3 and exercise 2 the next lecture not exercise uh, 2 whole but 3 questions of exercise 2 in next lecture we will finish exercise 2 and we will do more about coordinate geometry of the circle we will do lot of question lot of exercise in order to grip the topic so I request all of you kindly to subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos my lectures as many as you can good luck for next lecture